some of the easier ones in the game, if not the easiest. Round one. Fight. That's plus. We're getting some no respect from Tikamara. That's counter. Yep, got the combo. Oh, I wonder if he attacked later, he would have actually had that. Which enough isn't bad versus Kemi, but it doesn't really beat anything. But it's not bad. They can beat like V-Skill in. And it can catch like her own jumps. Oh, that didn't hit! I wonder if that was something related to her V-Trigger or just the fact that she was stand blocking instead of crash blocking. A lot of damage in the corner. That was, technically speaking, bad for a Boogalip's start to finish. Round two. That was like a smart mirror. It helped him when it like made the DP bounce off. But if he blocked, it would have made it so he couldn't punish the DP. And then everything after that, the mirror didn't really help him at all. Is playing this really well. Oh, that was a that was a free punish. Stream stop my frames. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm on my lowest res available. I'm not doing anything else but playing this. Start stream. If you want me to just kind of vaguely try something in the prayer that it works. Wins. We dropped not very many frames at all. It's doing that thing where it flashes though, where it's kind of mad. Kind of wants to start dropping some frames. We didn't drop that Round many though. One. I'm confident it'll fix itself. Fight. <laughs> the back dash. He didn't have meter. That could have just been pressure. Oh no. I feel like I just got perfected. Round two. Fight. Really nice. Counter hit? No, it's just still too close. I think the jab was guaranteed there. Like, Gary could jab and it would beat anything Kemi could do. But he couldn't combo out of the jab on reaction. He couldn't combo into the jab. More importantly. Alright, this is what he needed. What's the reset? No reset. That's the jab. Damn, Pukul's probably kicking himself with that one. It's probably like, why did I even hit that button? We still got the mirror. This is still very doable. And now it's still doable, but hard. Ah, I winced. It was a good run. That's like third place. That's pretty good. Third place is a pretty good place to come in. That was fast, damn it. Pukul is good. Kami players. It's go time. People who have random numbers in their names are fucking faggots. The X Fireball Aegis is actually very good. It's actually really good because it combos on hit. It's like your main way of going into Aegis for second Aegis. It's safe on block, combos on hit. It's literally like one of his BNBs.
Let's do this. The whiff job was to fake fireball so you'd super. Ouch! Reading that makes it even more painful. That fucking wannabe Randy Savage outfit. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite alternates in any Street Fighter game. Looks fantastic. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Crouch Fierce, saying if cannot alter his jump arc, he just has pretty good air normals. Crouch Fierce should have a reliable timing every time. EX drop probably would have landed there. EX tackle being minus two is probably like the right amount. Wow! Did that combo? Is that counter hit Crouch Fierce? That's plus four on block, I think. I mean, on hit. Nice reset. Ooh. Sweep. That too. I'm not even sure Sweep would have been a punish. That was smarter than what I said. Cloud Strife complained about lag. It might be laggy for them. It looks alright for me, but it could be that lag where it's just constantly winding back. Rather than like stuttering or anything like that. Big Crouch Fierce. I, he had a knee drop there. I think. <laughs> Fucking ouch! That's like the worst thing that can happen to you. Alright, that's the worst thing that can happen to you. That's funny because he did Siren House and didn't V skill, and I'm like, shit, the combo ends there. And then he still had a conversion. Alex wins. That was first and only! Capcom needs to show Alex some love. If the first hit connects, you should get the second hit too. I wonder if he could have combat stand strong after that towards Spears. I think he could have. Who was the fucking Pokémon player who was like, I want breaks in porn? I asked because everyone's talking about Infiltration being, um, quote, one of those jury weirdos. I thought we were all those jury weirdos. I thought that was Street Fighter players. What an interesting punish. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that jury is one of the best Street Fighter designs, right? <laughs> that was aggressive. Wake up command grab on your wake up. Yeah, that's one thing, but how do you guys feel about Fuda Jerry and Fuda Chun Li? And poison. And totally ordinary poison. Very nice, good whiff. Alright, very safe. Sometimes it's good as Geef to just go for those slow short combos. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that was... No, did he even have anything there? What can you even do after that? It wasn't even a point blank stand strong, so I'm not even sure if he could link like jab or short there. He could have cancelled it to V-Trigger, but it would have been on a guess. Fuda Buki, that's fucking disgusting, dude. She's like 16. Oh. Jump back strong! I wonder if that's good. Holy cow. Oh my god, this is dizzy. 
But I thought he needs to slow down. He's not letting his opponents play the game. Show me that instant error. Oh, never mind. Alex wins. So, I forgot to change the thing. 16 is the age of consent in most of the world, I suppose. This is only 2 0. It's, it's still technically, time. like, you know, it's not technically over. It's too laggy, but it's online, so I just have to take it, lol, says Cloud. Give players and lag. Like fucking peanut butter and jelly. No Pookalypse. If only. Did I say he was third earlier? He was fourth. Only top Round three gets one. best of five. Fight. I can't believe that hit from that far out. I wonder if he stand blocked if it would have still hit. Alex has decent whip punishes for that too. He can like go strong and on reaction, I'm pretty sure. Or like evil same pierce maybe. <gasps> uh, that white health too. That was probably supposed to be the medium headbutt, and not a jump strong. It kind of surprised me to find out that peanut butter is kind of an American thing. I don't know where it was invented, but like, it seems to be like most places don't really fuck around with peanut butter. But in the US it's insanely common. I've gone to England. I spent a decent amount of my life in Eng England, and um, the peanut butter there is pretty shitty. I mean, we've still got Nutella here too. Oh, I think that could have just been stand short to Lariat. That's like an important. Oh, got him. That's an important combo for Geef. It's really strange to say, like jump in and then just confirm the hit, and then do like stand short Lariat. Because a lot of the time, if you do something after you jump in, you'll be too far away to get a full completion. So you like to jump from really far out. If I only had like English peanut butter, I would not have. I would not like peanut butter that much. American peanut butter is superior. English chocolate on the other hand is pretty nice. European chocolate in general. That fucking Swiss shit. Really tasty. Get that V meter. He's getting it. Alex charges his V trigger really fast, and it's like a decent V trigger too. Albeit somewhat hard to confirm. Completion. He was close enough to get that full combo. Oh my goodness, this could easily be the death. Only one time in a real match have I ever seen a heat player do uh, towards Fierce Low Strong Super. Obviously, he didn't need it there, so he was correct in doing the combo he did, which was hard to drop. But, um. It's kind of a cool looking combo when I think about it sometimes. I'm just like, damn, I wish this Geef would do like jump in. Towards fierce, slow, strong, super. Australians have chocolate. Sounds disgusting, dude. I wouldn't try Australian chocolate. Round one. Fight. <laughs> 
We have like a chemical in American chocolate that tastes like um, vomit. A lot of people who aren't used to American chocolate are unused to their chocolate tasting like vomit. But every American is just like, nope, that's a Hershey bar. Used to that shit. Ooh. Is it vomit or is it like dirty diapers or something? There's like some chemical that's like usually a safe city for something really disgusting. Grab? Oh, even better. I'm dumb that I even thought about grab. Wow, that read. It is vomit. Oh, too far away. He probably could have supered. I mean, it's still one, too. Every now and then I go to the fucking world market and I get myself a dairy milk bar. Ooh, this is gonna undermine. He actually already jumped. The X there. Keep the corner. He didn't really need the meter. Forced to use a little bit of holding. The Skeef beat Alex. I don't know. To be 100% honest, I'm not really sure about this matchup. I think he. Does Alex have an instant overhead on Geef? Most characters. I shouldn't say most. Like half the cast has an instant overhead on Geef. Keep is like the most common character to have them. Fight. And instant overheads are good after any block jump in. If Alex could have done like jump back short or something like that for the kill. First hit only. He can combo trades, but only if it's the second hit that trades. He got the first hit. Meat thinks it's 5 5. Ooh. Low jab, low strong for Geef is, I think, plus 2 into 6 frame. So it's a... no, plus plus 3 into 6 frame. Right? So it's a 3 frame frame trap, so it beats pretty much everything. And if you get the low jab, low strong on counter hit, it's actually a combo. So it's a 3 frame frame trap or a combo. And then um, icing on the cake, if you get that low strong to hit, either from the combo or the counter hit, you can react with the sand short and then combo lariat from there. It's a very, very good frame trap, but Geef players don't use it that much. Geef players don't. Geef doesn't really need frame traps because he's got a 360. His grabs can't be tacked. His frame traps are icing on the cake. Good block. And he's dead anyway. Alex wins. Has there been Colleen yet? There was a Colleen player who entered, but uh, he was a no-show until the tournament was like two-thirds over. I would actually like Sagat. I should bring Sagat back. I'm going to be 100% honest. One of the characters... Of all the characters they could return with, the character that I really wish they'd bring back is... Adon. I want Adon back. I like playing Adon a lot very casually in um, Street Fighter 4. And also I liked watching um, Gamer B and similar players. Wasn't that Alex Vai played Adon for a little bit in Super? Dude, just give bring Adon and give him Jaguar Shot. Just appease both crowds. I want a dive kick that knocks down. I feel like it would be more okay to have like a good dive kick if it just knocked down on hit. Give me like fucking Makoto hard axe kick as as his air as his air jaguar kick. Adon's insufferable voice acting is part of his charm, dude. They should bring that back if they bring Adon back. Makoto would break this game, or this game would break Makoto. 
one or the other. My iron body is invincible. Adon is almost everything I like, so it's weird that I didn't just outright Fight. made him. Adon is a strong, a decent neutral, a very fundamental neutral with decent buttons, and then like a DP. And then buttons that are just, like, special moves that are just very hard to do anything about. Oh, very nice placement. He could have cancelled that. We've seen this matchup a lot in BAF Cups. It's probably alright. It's probably fair. It might be a little bit in Goose favor, even. In Season 2. But the main the main feature is that um, Kimmy cannot fuck up. Because if Kimmy fucks up, she loses instantly. From what we've seen, Geese view reversal is also incredible in this matchup. That could have been Sam into V Trigger. Got her! This kills! Towards Fierce or Lariat or whatever. Lariat's technically more reliable there. It does more damage than Towards Fierce, I'm pretty sure. Round two. Fight! I think Larry does build more meter. Very nice. That's minus two. I'd be really careful with the key player. That could have been a super. But now if he lands the super, he basically wins. Alright, does he know? Show me. Show me. Here it comes. Here it comes. That was it! That was it! That was it! Did anyone else just see what I saw? If Geef via versed that dive kick, it was guaranteed and super would have been a combo. And it would have been over. He had one V-bar, he had full super, he was cornered. Still looking pretty good for him. Very nice. Good placement of the normals. Zongief wins. I thought Geef was still plus there, even if the V reverse doesn't hit. If he V reverses the first one. Round one. Fight! I thought it was either a punish on one side or a combo on the other side. Interesting AP option. Oh, drop combo. Kind of a weak punish. SPD would have been nice. Hard SPD. Probably the correct one. Ah! Deceptive hitboxes. That's kind of bullshit. Nice. I shot 360 during block swings. Ooh, that was aggressive. If it was Larry, it would have worked, I think. He didn't react to the jump though. He's in a pretty good position here. This could go either way. Uh, God, DP jumps like that. He could have died in like one second. Oh, that was it! Well, it wasn't it. I was expecting an SPD from the Geef. Can it strike on block? It depends on where she hits you. It usually goes from like plus. It usually goes from like zero to like minus four now, I think. Somewhere in that general territory. That's not enough. Time over. Come at me with dash, dash, low forward, maybe. Yo, can you time over Fight. lose pose? No, seen that shit.
for Kami, especially given the health. I didn't combo. We trigger super. This should kill. This is a pretty scaled super. But Kami doesn't have that much health. Stand fierce, 100%. Stand run house, 90%. Activate V trigger. But the V trigger doesn't hit, so I don't know if that counts as one or two. 70%. Super, 50%. Yeah, I think it got to minimum scaling. But uh, that's still like a 200 damage on Kemi's 900 health. Round one. Fight. Oof. It could have been a 60% super. I don't know how it scales. Maybe the V trigger doesn't hit. Having a V trigger activate um, counts as one, and having a V trigger hit counts as another. V-Trigger counts as two actions, but one of them is the V-Trigger hit, which is where the confusion comes from. I wonder if that pull-in counts as a hit, though. It might. Here's Dawn Exits. Nice use of the stand run house. Got the whiff. That shit is really cheap. I like it. It's very... It's not cheap. It's very... It's very Geef. It's the kind of thing Geef should have. It's like whiff green hand in older games. Except shittier. Round two. Fight. Oof. Got him. Nice DP. Oh, the self corner. Okay, there you got it back. This is amazing position for Tikamara. This should, he should save this bar. He actually had the completion there. But Strife needs like several miracles. That was the absolute opposite of a miracle. That was like the worst way that I could play out with him without him dying. That could have been V trigger. And that would have been a really nice V trigger. If he ate that flex, it would have done a lot of damage. But dash in dash in grab is a decent response to a Geef who's flex happy. If I were Cloud Strife, I'd be really afraid of jumping in for that medium DP into super. Gotta watch himself. Uh, that was it. He was kind of far out. Raw super would have worked for sure. I'm pretty sure medium DP into super. Oh, uh, that was it too! Oh, he was too far away. He actually should have done that forward there. Got him. It's too fucking tempting when you play Zangief to go for a meaty because your meaties are so fucking good. And because you don't get that many opportunities to go for them. Makes your bristles kind of good against him, in a weird way. Watch for that super. That's his main way of losing at this point. Needs to be very careful. God, oh, that's the exact. That's exactly what I meant. Kami wins. Kami is actually somewhat um, pure from a gameplay standpoint. She doesn't Round have that many one. gimmicks. She just has generally strong Fight. options. Her mix ups are entirely frame cut based. Wow. Big damage. Sand Jab did not beat that dive kick. Wonder if Jab was still in range to come away from that. Ouch. That was the wrong thing to go for there. If it was a neutral jump, he would have had a big punish. Even after it was a back jump, he had to do something kind of weird. 
but the kind of weird thing he went for was the wrong kind of weird thing, unfortunately. Good, confirm. That's kind of hard to react. That's like the hardest confirm Geef has that's still easy. Back strong is not helping him. Heavy is pure. Excuse me. Yeah, her dive is pretty fair now, honestly. I like don't mind Kim anymore, even though she's still clearly kind of strong. When I lose, I feel like I lost. When I win, I feel like I won. The only slight, the only slight thing I dislike about Kami is that like her just her buttons in neutral are pretty good, and it feels like they should be good, but it just feels like you know. It's hard to thread that needle. Nice. Very nice. That's super. And he got it. He probably wasn't going to get a dizzy, and he would have had to get another hit to kill without the super. And Geef could have fucked him up if he got a good hit in. So I, in general, agree with that critical art. I kind of agree that Kami's pushback is too low. They should probably take away that bullshit with the stand, jet, stand short. That's like the only thing I kind of dislike about her. I can live with Crutch Fierce. I can live with Low Strong. I can live with Low Forward. Stand Fierce is kind of bullshit, but I can live with it. Whoa. Nice cross under and then the grab. He could have deep it there, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. This hurts a lot. This is suddenly really crazy hard for T. Kimura. Is Stan Runhouse good as an ATR in this matchup? Stan Runhouse is normally a pretty good ATR if the opponent has no way to alter jump arc, especially if they can jump from really far away. Which sounds a lot like Geef, but if Geef's air normals go far enough, like early jump medium kick, then he might be able to hit Kemi before she can get Stan Runhouse out in time. It's go time. I wonder if that's worth playing around with. That was losers finals. This is grand. It sounds stupid to recommend like or not to recommend but to want to ponder anti air Kami Stairman House when Kami normally has so much better options. But it might genuinely be alright there. It just depends on how fast it is. Let's do this. Whether its hitbox will reliably beat early jump medium kick. Back strong definitely, I feel like against Geef, back strong is not as good as medium DP. But um, the ranges that, if you watch, the ranges that Cloud was jumping at made it really hard to use. What the fuck is this? I think there's some... I think there's some... I think there's some bad manner going on right now. I think we're about to see some really bad manner. Round one. Fight. Same runhouse, anti air, prototype liked it. I wonder if he picked this just to try it out a little bit, or if he already knew. Yeah, hard kick DP is really important. The fact that she can't anti air hard kick DP matters a lot. If she can hard kick DP, this matchup becomes really easy. Or not easy, but like, like, Geef has a much harder time jumping. That back strong. Straight drill? Yep. Saves the second one. I probably would have used it. It was me. That cami color looks pretty cute. He could have done a DP there. And in fact, that was definitely the correct play. Hard DP anti air. The V trigger is reliable. Uh oh! He doesn't have the bar though. No! 
Round two. Fight. Yeah, medium DP goes a lot less far than it looks. And if it whiffs, you basically lose. You just gotta pick your anti airs like super carefully. If keeps jumping from the right ranges. Early jump, medium kick. I mean, medium punch. Different strengths of DP. You always want the more range, though. That's the thing. You can't just say you can use different strengths of DP because literally the right answer is always just the medium one. Because the hard one is kind of shitty and the light one is never... Like, the medium one will still hit the ones that the, the light one will hit. I feel like Prototype's playing this pretty well, all things considered. No right here. Samurai House, I think, would have worked there. Punish? Yep. You can't cheat Prototype like that. If she wants to use the hard one as an anti air, she has to do it like insanely early. She has to shoot for the counter hit. Because the hitbox does, does her no favors. B trigger into hard one is pretty good though. If you like B trigger on reaction to their jump, that's like actually a good thing to do. Uh oh. Fifteen seconds, I say wait. I say run that clock. Ouch. Now this has suddenly gotten really hard. Gosh, Chef has a pretty good hitbox. Prototype looked okay there. If he wanted to keep running this matchup, I think he could maybe do it. Most characters honestly have trouble with Geef's space versus unspaced jumps. Or I should just say Geef's space jumps. Round one. Fight. But I'm sticking with the matchup. He's trying to make a statement. He's like, I can win this. Kami versus Geef ain't even that bad. Look at that white health. Look at that white health. Yup, that's minus two. Reversal jab beats everything. Back strong. I don't really like that normal. Really deep. If he flexes, Kami can probably just do low forward into hard drill. If she's close enough. Wow, that range. I would have done just a drill. There's no human way I would have tried to hit Sand Fierce and have it work. Double team cup? I mean, we've got a team cup coming up. I'll have more details on that after this. Yeah. Max range Sand Fierce only combos into walk in Siren House. It's kind of precise, too. Watch for that super Cloud Strife is a nut. One of those players, you might just do it. Incoming s towards medium kick super. In 3, 2, 1. Now. Aw, oh, damn it. Empty jump super would have been really good. I'd like to see more empty. Oh. I'd like to see more empty jump SPDs in general from this Geef. That's what I was about to say. And then he did one. Same character teams, so like you have to like find if you're like a guile player, you have to find another guile. That's pretty funny, but it's gonna make it, it we're gonna have even fewer entrants if we do that. We're already not gonna have many for the team cup. Here. Super would have worked there. Prototype should keep that in mind. Hard super is a good anti-air against Geef. That beats literally anything you can do mid air. He should have kept it. Never mind, there's 13 seconds left. He needs to do something nutty. If he got that anti-air super, he would have won. Come at me with more next time. Final round. Fight. I think a lot about stuff like that, but then I like don't think about very basic things. It's very easy to play and have different plans from the people playing because I don't have to think about I only have to think about like meters and like time and health. 
That was a very optimal punish. Wow. Wow. 3x. Crouch face and speed trigger very soon. That was it. That looked like Stairman House, but it was too slow. He chickened out. I think it wouldn't have worked, so it was smart to chicken out. He activated, he was probably going to drill. What it should have been was slight walk forward, crouch fierce into activate, and then drill from there. That was like the correct play. I wonder if he's really going to keep on running it with Kami, or if he's just going to go to Alex and try and win three in a row. Help. Help. Oh. Is it just me? That's the second time in this tournament. Oh, never mind. It was everyone. Maybe one of them did pull. That was 2 0. Cloud's favor. Look at that choice emote right there. That's a damn good emote. Her setting is very big. Yeah, he's sticking with it. We have multiple reports of Alex versus Keith being 5 5. My iron body is invincible, so be wet. Round 1. This is pretty stubborn from Prototype. Fight. I respect that. Even Prototype says it's even. Alex versus Keith, that is. Oh, well, this matchup. I've heard conflicting reports on this matchup. My head. In my head, it seems like uh, Keith would have a slight advantage from what all I've seen. But I'm not sure about that at all. I, in general, think Kami is a stronger character than Keith. But in this matchup, I don't think that matters. Blocking. No anti or DP. Still got the win, though. Round two. Fight. Ooh. Anti-air towards medium kick. Got the counter hit. Very, very easy to counter hit a drill. Good punish. Dive kicks have really bad hitboxes. I wonder if he had a DP there. Got a stun back for doing that, so that was kind of smart. I wonder if he had a DP there. I don't know the ground recovery on that. Keith's jabs are incredibly scary. Five frame attack after blocking a minus two move is pretty much perfect if the character, if your opponent doesn't have a three frame normal, or even if they do. Kimmy can actually stand strong after a blocked, like, minus two attack, and that's really good in this matchup. Because Keith's only four frame is a light, naturally. Good placement. These are running for the clock really frequently. It's because, um,. Prototype is trying to win without, like, how do you say? He's trying to take it really slow and careful, which is, I think, the way that you should do it. And, um, Sengi has been really choosy with his opportunities, too, which I also think is how you should do it. This matchup played correctly is very careful from both sides. Oh, bad punish. Careful is slow.
kind of poke. Whoa, that was a medium bad kick. See that? Like, that was so gimmicky. Keeps minus two after that. Cloud Strife must never ever get fucking tested in that. Gotta hold it. Ugh. The empty jump SPD, I admire that idea. Huh? You really didn't juggle DP? I'm pretty sure that would have killed. That was a combo, but he has no completion. Or he had a completion, it was just instead of the second jab, he had to lariat. How on earth did Prototype save the bar? Watch for that anti-air super, dude. Run the clock. Run the clock, run the clock, run the clock. Okay, that's good. I was gonna say, just like, give him a bunch of room and then fucking randomly super him. If it even gets to that. But randomly supering immediately is good against Geef, because he can't even do anything about it, so... 2-1. Round one. Fight. I wonder if SPD would have been up on a sh Probably not. It's like a well spaced drill. Uh what happened? He was a little early, I think. Prototypes Kami looks alright. Kami is a fairly easy character to understand how to play, even if you don't play her. And Prototype looks like he plays her. Having a good Kami is an entirely different beast, but at the very least her game plan is very straightforward. Miwad says that was too far away and Geef could have done something. I think Larry wouldn't have worked just because it's too slow, but Jab might have worked. No idea. That was punish. Like strong just lost clean, but then he didn't combo. Oh lord, that's not fair, dude. He got hit mid air. All right, suddenly very even. He had to do that to stay safe. Had to do that to stay safe. Oh, that would have been kill if it was anything else. Don't go in, dude. Don't go in. Just fucking focus on that. Yeah, the punishing. Halting the approach. 2-2. Two, two. Prototype could really turn this around. Or I guess he has really turned it around. He could really win this. Round one. Fight! That didn't even combo. I thought Geef could have interrupted it. Oh, that was a good counter hit conversion too. Not the right combo. Maybe there was no right combo there. Or rather, I should say, maybe that combo is fine. Look at that white health. Don't drill. Do not drill. Do not drill. Alright, that was nice. I have to stay safe. He doesn't have a V-trigger, he doesn't have a super. I say play it slow. Yeah, like that. Don't dive kick. Just be lame. Stay medium kick. Crush fierce. Maybe an anti-air. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. You can lay out Geef. Geef is one of the characters you can lay out. I say watch for DP into super anti-air, or even just super anti-air. I say land that as soon as possible. He's gonna jump, just do it. Just hard DP. I mean hard super. Whoa. Help. Hope that was just me. Both of them are playing on it, so... Combo. Too low. Not too low, but 
That kind of makes up isn't as good as it was in Street Fighter 4. Not as ambiguous with a throw. Had to drill straight away. The version, the direction he had to use was unclear. EXDP, yep. This is really, really close to prototype winning. Cloud needs to find a good super, and that's going to be really hard. Prototype is not going to give it to him. His best hope is just catching a wild crush jab. That's. I don't know what that is on EX. It might be plus one. It's like very unusual frame data. Prototype, he got it. Damn. Good event. Good tournament. Give me a second. I'm making a cup. It's go time. Everyone hold on. Alright, so I'm going to talk about this really briefly. We're going to, next week, we're going to have a, um... Team Cup. Regular is minus two. And EX is apparently plus three. Um, we're going to have a team cup. And in this team cup, um, it's going to be 2v2, and you have to find a teammate. And it would be really, really convenient if on Discord you put your team name... You sign up using your team name. One of the two of you signs up to the challenge. I'm going to make the challenge in just a second. Um, you put your team name as... You sign up as your team name, and then you and your teammates like have your team name in front of your name on Discord. So, for example, if your name is fucking... Meatwad, and you want to have a team with fucking two turntables called Meatspin, one of you would sign up to the challenge as Meatspin, and then both of you would... Um, uh, have meat spin meat wad and meat spin two turntables as your fucking discord names Um, I'll see if I can get some people to find partners the day before. Or, like, I'll have, like, something. I'll find some way that I can help people get partners. It's going to be Thursday at 6 p.m., my time. All right, hold on. I'm uploading it. Um, 
There you go. I get it on stream. It's right here. There it is. I just look up. You might notice that I've actually repurposed a previous win, a previous cup from the last time he won. So where the f where the fuck is Scrub Styles? He doesn't even know. Scrub. Scrub logs. Oh, he's here. Hope it's not laggy. Let's do this. Famous last words. It's got a nice non laggy stage. Akuma nice non laggy character. Akuma, you will feel my wrath. Little does he know that I'm actually the best Akuma in the whole world. So this is going to be pretty free. If it's laggy, I'll abruptly terminate the stream Round after 10 one. seconds. Fight. This looks okay. Oof! Spicy. Hmm, he wanted it too. Wah! It's a bit early, wasn't I? Whoa. That was a very good thing to go for there. like the wrong thing to do there. I think he wanted to DP me. But even then I think I was safe from DPs there. You blight my vision. Round two. Fight. Shit. I'm bad. If he did a low strong I would have been punished for sure. That was really sloppy. Tried to cancel a low jab. I mean a low short. Which most characters can't even fucking do. Mm, I failed to hit him. Blocks that. Hmm. Huh. All right. Probably could have jabbed there. Looked all right. Ah, got to walk under and this hurts. Hmm. It's all right though. I saw it in slow motion, but I got hit. Final I got a lot of meter. Fight. This is a good thing. What 
that walk under really do for me. Oh, I didn't want the red fireball. Lost a bunch of health for that. Oh. But I walk away. <gasps> I got hit! Oh fuck. Where did it all go? Where did it all go? Scary. Oh my god. We're in there. I like how I ate the overhead and I didn't die. You win. Danger, danger. He said to me, that was lucky. There's no luck in this game. Round one. Fight! Leg. Leg, leg. Leg, 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 leg. Shit, 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 shit. That hit, too. Alright, everything is hard to react to in this fucking round. Ouch. Ah, uh, let's just get the forward. placement on that list wrong. I wonder what my combo was there. Oh! I kept DP. He's a nut. Ah, damn it. I did list wrong, but I guess he got his out a lot. For mine. Go for that grab a lot. I went for it too. Didn't work. I don't know why I expected it to work really. Yeah, I thought I'd win. Is he typing at me? Is he typing? Oh, just in time. Round one. Fight. Mm, no kind of hits. Wow. He missed that. That looked good. I tried to towards face that. Made back face it. Mm. <gasps> good. Good at that, normal. Not a combo. How do I make that be a combo? There it is. Gotcha. That's a tree meaty. Round 
round two. Fight! That was a punish, but I didn't cancel it because I was a coward. And that was a mistake. Yeah. He went for a frame trap, not realizing that he hit me. Whoa, why'd that work? Why'd I do it? Uh, I wonder if that would have hit. Oh. I wonder if I moved the screen backward. Tricky? As fuck. Should uh. kill. Alright, cool, I got him. You win. I don't have any demon setups. I have like two. And they're not that good. I have walk demon and I have like dash demon. It's go time. He says please play me when I'm sober. Okay, he still wants to play. Let's do this. You will feel my wrath. This frame rate. Akuma. You will feel my wrath. Shit, the costume swap. Round one. Fight. That was a punish. I meant to cancel it. Ugh. He did the right combo too. Who takes there? I had a DP there. Telegraphed, wasn't it? I did it really early. Uh, a lot more back with permanent I'm getting. It's a lot of shit. Mm. Ah, shit. Round two. That's punishable for that fireball. Ah! Whoa. I did it. Totally closet what? Closet homo. Final round. Uh, your secret safe with me, dude. Fight. That's a good trade for me. No, it's not. But blocking that is okay. Depends. Depends on whether you can actually time there. <laughs> Fuck. That was a uh, strong. All right, this is good. Yeah. 
Ugh. The jab they got kinda here. Meeting those every time. Nice. I thought you saved me. That's still like a bad option anyway, because I could have like, you know, done other things to delay my landing. Like an EX Tatsu. Or a uh, EX Fireball, a regular Fireball. There were like several things. Uh oh, could have died for that. Low forward beats low fear, so I shouldn't be like as afraid of that low fear. So I should be trying to poke it with low forward instead you of low win. strong. Or my own low fears. I know that he likes that button up close. He should have gone for a DP. I don't know why the fuck he went for a demon. Round one. Fight. That was greedy of me. He had uh, cancelled to. Medium. Ah, oh, left forward is too close there. His text. He hates being in the corner. I can see it. Oh fuck. Not a good trade. Fuck, I freaked out. That was a V-trigger. Ah, oh, fuck me. I hit hard punch and hard kick together, how'd I get a red fireball? Round two. Fight. Is that a laggy? Ooh, nice and wide. I didn't want that. If you picked the right button, I would've gotten punished there. Fuck, where's my cancel? How did I jab? Oh, there. I did the jump jab. Final round. Here with Stan Jab. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to walk in less strong. Jabs. It doesn't work in here. Or it does, but it's so stupid. It's not worth going for. If he's looking for a super setup, I should be dead. That's not the right one. I should have supered. I look for a V trigger and I don't even have one. I walked until I was pretty sure he wouldn't. I walked until I was pretty sure I would barely whiff. And then I buffered Sam medium kick into. I tried to walk enough that I could like force him to hit a button out of nervousness. And then I did Sam medium kick buffered to medium tatsu. I caught him on a fireball. Round one. Fight. My little jump. I like jumping too. Uh oh, could be worse. But it's not too good either. It's like... <gasps> Got the counter hit confirm, somehow. I was honestly anticipating a... I'm 
on a good trade. Oh my god, why did I do that? Why did it work? Why did I do it? Why did it work? I look forward. I should have done it sooner. I blame lag on that round. Round two. Fight. I kind of went up too. He likes jumping. Aggressive. Also, did that just combo? Look for yourself forward. Neat. That's all I gotta say. That is not good. Oh my god. Alright. That was a comedy of errors right there. I had dashing into a stay medium kick for more consistency there. Stand fierce there. He likes crouch fierce so much. It's okay. Oh fuck. This time. No, I have no good excuse for why that was a sin short. Uh -huh. Tech throws with delayed low strong. That's how we play this game. That's how we play Street Fighter 5. That's how you can see I'm starting to get better Street Fighter 5 fundamentals. Because I tech throws with low strong. Word to the wise, pro tip, that does not fucking tech a throw. It's go time. What the fuck is Apocalypse doing here? Alright, hold on. He's got the stream open, he's listening. It's go time. No, why'd he go down? <laughs> go. I like this. I wonder if this will be Akuma, Yurian, or Akuma Sim. Let's do this. Vega versus Alex is bad for Alex. I never would have guessed. Round one. Fight. All that recovery. <laughs> Wake up like medium DP from far away. Oh, the taunt. Yeah, you can't play Fireball Wars with full screen. Okay, man. Oh, man. 
I like how Yurian has a jump strong that causes a launch state and like it's like impossible to land. Because his jump is already really tall. And it like goes upwards. And like Yurian isn't really the kind of character who can force opponents to jump very well. I guess he can with his fireball a little bit. Make sure that whoever you partner up with will actually be free one week from today. Six days from today. Uh oh. What a bad punish. That was a pretty good punish. Oh no. This should actually kill. He didn't have the bar. Yurian wins. Round one. Fight. I'm pretty sure Neffin's like the only bomb. Was that really a punish, dude? Are you kidding me? No way. Why does Red Fireball have that much recovery? I know that the game is very skewed against anti-multi-hit fireballs. It's really hard. Most fireball answers, everything except supers and Kami ZX drill doesn't work against multi-hit fireballs very well. It only works in a close range. That was a decent time to do that. Oh yeah, Hawk. DP? That should be a punish. Uh oh, the skills. It might have been Hawk last week, he enters. Round start EX tackle. That guarantees that the first hit's not gonna connect. That's nutty, I don't like that. That's too nutty. And you got it there. It's funny because that normally doesn't work near the corner. Oh, that was punishable. Vega has a hard time anti airing. I mean, Vega, what the fuck? Urian has a hard time anti airing this matchup. Jump Strong is actually probably pretty good here. That's a very good setup. Missed the juggle. And lit up the mirror setup. That was a good time to EX Fireball, I guess. I didn't landing on Fireball. Oh, the anti-air would have killed. Uh, I think that... I probably won't team up with anyone. I think that... Um, I think that Yurian. I think Akuma might be able to light DP after a block uh, towards strong. Right? No, it's minus two, isn't it? It's not minus three. Round one. I don't know the frame window Fight. of towards strong into fierce. Eclipse in the chat said, "Want to know a secret?" Flex on him. Crystal stand jab beats any follow-up DX tackle. Yep. That's not a secret, I knew that. Okay, access is free fan almost can do them after EX tackle unless they have really garbage range. Stand forward punishes that. These two played in the tournament, didn't they? Ooh. This is a tournament run back. Whoop. Stand forward still punishes that. Alright, hard DP. DP? Huh? That wasn't even the right version of DP, what the fuck was he trying for? Back Fierce. Back Fierce was actually the right play there, actually. He could have done Back Fierce into Demon Flip Fireball into DP, like that. That probably would have done a, that would have done good damage. Yeah. 
Please stand forward into light Tatsu. That's a punish there. Please just fucking punish a punish an overhead, right? I'm getting sick of seeing this. Oh, he went for the cool reset. Oh no, this is kill. That was the wrong ender. Weird reset. If you're gonna dizzy with the ender, the ender should be your highest damage, which is like that's gonna work. Be like towards strong or something like that. Nuts! Damn, that was a punish. Wins. Metsu means destructive or destruction or something like that. You don't know about this matchup? Let me show you how to play this matchup. I'm the master it's of this matchup. I fight Yurians day in, day out. Shut up, your mission is complete. Get in here. Oh, he left. Oh well, it was fun. I'm gonna. Ooh, I broke. I broke. Broke 100k. Score. Annihilation. That's kind of like the same thing. Annihilate literally means to reduce to nothing. Annihil means nothing. Isn't that neat? Um, I think our stream is over for today. I might do a little bit of streaming later on tonight, depending on whether, depending on what Apocalypse is doing. Um, but for the time being, I'm gonna go sort things out downstairs. I'm gonna go see about dinner.